All right. <clears throat> Hi, Jimmy. I hope you can hear me well. Okay, first off, uh, I believe you already know how to pull up a session. Just open up a session and drag, v drag, this, uh, drag, <laughs> drag this file from the folder to the session. Then what we can see is like this. And uh, let's, let's try to play the track. As you can see here, this is raw vocals, right? And uh, the, the the backing the backing tracks, the the instruments also sound like uh, like raw. So if this was my track, if this was my cover, I would uh, I would uh, apply some some effects here in EQ to, to put a little life because I think it's just too dry and you can see the see the side snares the uh, snares are to be uh, they're supposed to to be dry but this one is just too dry so I want to put a little uh, a little reverb or something here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little reverb here um, so I'm gonna use the studio reverb because studio reverb, uh, let me check that again. Reverb, and then you can see some plugins, re uh, convulsion verb and and full reverb and reverb. What I do, what I like to use is the studio reverb, because because it allows me to to adjust uh, adjust these panels right here. But the rest of these plugins, they won't allow me to. To adjust these panels while playing. Well, this one while playing, I can adjust. And look. Okay, right. Next is like I want to make sure that because when you open up this Studio River plugin, it gives you uh, this recommendation, this this default 80. So we want to make sure that's hundred percent because we want to keep the hundred percent uh, raw sound of this uh, of this file. So hundred percent, that's the original uh, uh, sound wave, and we want to add a little bit of reverb right here. We don't want to touch that one. Uh, if you know how to use these panels, uh, these sections, you can adjust them by yourself. I mean, I know a little bit about this one, but I don't want to mess up with that. Uh, it's not really important to do that now. So you just add this one. Let me see if uh, let me click the solo so that we can fuck this in this track. So I believe you can hear that. You can hear that that the, the side snares. They are now starting to to give life, and so was the rest of uh, the instruments. You can add more if you like. Yeah, I would add more. Okay, I think that's uh, that makes me happy. And then as uh, we are now set to touch the vocal track. Okay, now for the vocal track, what I do is this is raw, and first I would pull up. I would pull up a. Uh, uh, equalizer, EQ, they call it EQ, equalizer. So, my mic is good. That depends on your mic. So, some most of the, the microphones, the semi professional or professional mics, they are they are are already crispy. So, you don't want that crisp, more uh, high end or high frequencies. So, you want to cut that down a little bit so that we can add gain afterwards. Okay, because if you if, if if they remain high, and if you add gain on the vocals, the 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 high frequencies tend to be too painful. So I want to cut that down like that, like this, and uh, enough. It's it's just enough, you know, not not not, not too painful uh, to our ears. You see, and then the the vocals. The vocal volume is not really that not high enough, you know. It's just under there, so you want to add that up. Make sure that this one is zero. I put seven. Accidentally, I hit seven. 
there, make sure this is zero. You know, don't touch these gain knobs right here because uh, in some point you cannot control the volume if you add volume here. You can actually minus or you can uh, cut volume using this one, but try not to add volume using this knob because you may not be able to to squeeze this into your effects or to your uh, limiter uh, afterwards. So instead, you add a volume here, your equalizer. And then this is your EQ right here on this track. So you add volume right here. So let's say uh, you want to add 5. That's 5 dB. I'm sorry for the latency. Uh, this is a not a very good computer, so uh, just bear with me, right? Okay. So now it, I think the vo the volume of the vocal is too high. We don't want that uh, too much gain at this point. Later on, we're gonna do, we're gonna go there. So we are going to just put three instead of five. So we are now uh, equalizing. Make sure that the the the, the gain of the uh, instrum uh, instruments or the backing track is the same with the uh, vocal track. Okay, so I think that's that's good now. I mean, uh, next I'm gonna add some reverb. Okay, I don't I don't really want that reverb to. Uh, too much on reverb on your vocals so a little bit of make sure that's hundred percent and then you're gonna add a little bit of that mm. yeah right there we can hear a little change not really that much just a little change uh, Later on, we are going to see some big changes. But if you know how to manipulate this, if you know how to, the, the, the principles of this high frequency cut and low frequency cut on the reverb, perhaps you can move this around. Me, I know a little bit, not a little bit, I know some uh, adequate <laughs> knowledge of, of this plugin. So I can just move this around. But uh, for now, you can just move this wet uh, panel right here. So I think we're good. Uh, and not really, we are good, but we are we are halfway there. And after this, uh, the balance of the the game, they are the same now. So what we do is, oh wait, we let's put uh, mm, compressor first, compressions. Well, you might say, why compression? Wow, what what what's what's the compression? What 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 does that do? Well, uh, I'm gonna make another video if you want me to. If you want me to explain more on compression, okay. But this time, uh, let 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 us pull a compression uh, compression plugin. So what I do because I have a very uh, strong mid range. Then I'm gonna pull down something here. That depends on how you. And then uh, and the, the the low frequency. Now this is a multi band compressor. It means like. Because th there is also a, a single band compressor. Look at this. A single band compressor. A single band compressor. This one you can only see one tube or one uh, frequency or one band. But this one has four. One, two, three, four. So you, you can actually adjust the four different uh, frequencies. Okay. So like this. So you want to, to compress the. Uh, the high frequencies because you don't want to you don't want to hurt your listeners ears and then here okay so I think I'm good with that and uh, can I play that okay the next thing that I will apply is the uh, the limiter and the limiter is very important because that will actually 
that will actually hold back some pl clippings, right? So I want to put a uh, minus four or maybe minus three. Okay, just to make sure I, s I, I keep the I keep minimal volume in this track. All right. So next thing we do, uh, I can see some big changes uh, from even here. And the next thing that we do is that I do is I'm gonna click this one and then I I, I hold the control uh, uh, key on my keyboard and hold that and then click that. So you're just selecting all or and then what what we do is we we save these two tracks into one track okay so we, you right click after you, you you click these two tracks and you right click and then go down to bounce the new track and then after that there is a, a drop down and offers you four choices and you go down to select the clips only so you hit that and you will come to uh, it will allow you to save these two tracks into a single track and it's going to look like this. Yes, yeah, it's going to look like that. Okay. So you have this track. You have three tracks now. What you do is because you already have the backing track right over here because you saved these two files, and you, we want to mute that because we don't want to use that. Oh, uh, okay. And then we have this and then we, we are not going to mute these vocals because we want to make sure that our vocals will stand out among all the all the instruments but you say Randy we already have the vocals here yes but we are going to master mix this and make the vocals stand out among the rest so what we do is we pull up a mastering plugin I think we I already pulled up mastering plugin so how to find the mastering plugin uh, we find it by clicking this one Make sure that you click this track and then go here. Suppose there is no mastering here. Let's let's try to uh, default. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up a, a mastering plugin or uh, go to special and drop down. Go to mastering. Here we go. And you can see mastering. It gives you this box. Uh, this uh, I don't know. <laughs> this dialog box. And then it allows you to adjust uh, some uh, three of uh, the most important frequencies you can see you cannot adjust the the lower frequency so what you do is you click this and then there you go you see that okay so you click this and then you pull this down you pull that down and this will allow the vocal these vocal track will fly up it will uh, it will soar higher okay so let's try to see uh, without without this track without this track let's mute that out and let's listen and the image has never been all right let's let's bring it on let's bring it in let's bring it in and to him it that the moon is still up. Okay, we don't really want that really loud vocals, right? We just want a thicker vocals, so not really loud. So it, I think it's a little too loud, so I get a minus minus four, because we we already have the vocal resource here, and then we have two vocal resources, uh, two vocal tracks now going on. So we have to uh, cut down the volume, okay? And you know what? this one because you move this down so that means you cut down a little volume from this track so when you cut down a little of this volume and you have to add the overall volume of this track uh, let me see 2 2 dB let's see he's kept in his wallet for years and the 
You see? Uh, it got a lot better, right? So it's fuller now. It's not louder, but it's fuller. Your the vocal is fuller, and uh, your your backing track is fuller, and it's loud and everything is loud. And not really loud, but I think it, they're clear and crispy, and you have the vocal is not overpowering all the volume, but it's actually embracing the entire life of the track so if the vocal is too high so it's just minus right here you just cut down using this one right here sometimes the the high tend to be so uh, so high here yeah, the high frequency tend to be so high so I want to cut that down and then cut this down a little bit right here just a little bit Okay. Okay. Yes, I think that's it. I mean, if this was my if this was my cover uh, song, I would uh, I would put on some mix. I would apply some some mixes here, maybe. We put some compressions and EQ on the uh, uh, backing tracks because it's just it just sounds uh, raw to me. But I think this is already good uh, in my opinion and good to my ears already. Okay, so I hope that one helps. And if you have some questions, please shoot them uh, straight to me. Okay. All right, this is Randy. I'll see you soon.